When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. When Trump made that statement during his presidential announcement, he did more than offend Latinos. He galvanized their opposition. According to the Pew Research Center, 62% of Latinos voted for President Obama in 2012. A NBC News Wall Street Journal Telemundo poll taken in July of 2016 showed Latino appeal has only weakened for the party. 76% of registered Latino voters said they would back Hillary Clinton, while just 14% said they back Donald Trump. For many Latinos, Trump's statements were offensive generalizations. But for El Salvadorian immigrant Kevin Cardoza, the statements speak to his experience. Cardoza came to the US fleeing El Salvador's crime and drug problems. I moved to, uh, to the United States back in 2006, you know, um, mo uh, mainly because of school. Uh, I started going to high school here, you know, I was awarded a scholarship, went on to NMSU, uh, got my school paid for. And, uh, and, you know, from there now, uh, I find myself here. Though Cardoza disagrees with Trump's sentiments, he still supports the Republican Party with Trump as its candidate. A lot of things that are happening within our southern uh, border. You know, we have, we have different, you know, human smuggling. You know, we have uh, drug trafficking, all of those things. Yeah, we do have those problems, but because we have those problems doesn't mean that we can generalize or that gives us the right to generalize a certain group of people. Cardoza says, if anything, growing up in El Salvador combined with his Christian faith actually laid the foundation for his support of the Republican Party. You know, uh, that you can, you can find Latin America. You know, they're extremely strict. However, they're probably one of the most violent countries in the world, you know. So I experienced that. I lived through that. So I've, I saw many of those policies coming, being implemented. And unfortunately, they did not function back in El Salvador. So those are some of the reasons as to why I, you know, I inclined to, to the Republican Party. And also, you know, my personal beliefs and some of my religious beliefs who are uh, which are uh, backed up by the, by the Republican Party. Instead of legalizing the more than 11 million immigrants living in the US illegally, Cardoza supports Trump's proposal to bring reforms to legal immigration processes for people from countries like El Salvador. There has to be a process in which they don't have to cross the border illegally. You know, a process that, you know, they can come to the country with dignity, you know, that you can uh, you don't have to hide in the shadows. You don't have to be hiding in the shadows. It's a process that will help you grow in this country and accomplish the American dream. That's, uh, that's, that's how I sympathize with, uh, with uh, some of these poor kids that are coming in across the border. Um, but like I said, uh, there has to be a process in which it avoids all of, the, all of those issues. Still, there are many points where Cardoza diverges with Trump on policy, like the proposed border wall and his position on Muslim immigration. I do believe that putting a ban on all Muslims, you know, that's not right. Cardoza says Trump can't take all the blame. He says Trump is only exaggerating challenges the party already had appealing to Latino voters. We have to realize the impact that the Latino community has in our country. Cardoza says there are likely many more Latinos that could be natural supporters of the Republican Party. But he says Republicans have a lot more work to do when it comes to outreach and getting their message out to Latino voters. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.